welcome to Snail's Kitchen. If you're new here, my name is Avni and this is my third video. Today I will be making Tutti Fruity Cookies. But today I'm not alone. I have some help with me. Oh, ah! You scared me. So this is, hey everybody, this is my friend Sarah. We are gonna need two cups of wheat flour. 3 4 cup of butter, half cup of sugar, 4 to 5 spoons milk, vanilla essence, and lots of tutti frutti. You can take the tutti frutti how much you want. Let me try some tutti frutti. Can you help me grab the mixer? Sure! Thank you! And I'll plug it in. So now the batter is smooth and fluffy. Now we are going to add flour and vanilla essence. Now we are going to add milk. It's now time to dirty our hands. Do you want me to put it on quick? Yeah. You need to gather the dough. Don't knead it. The dough is gathered enough. Time to roll it. done. It's time to put the tutti frutties in. So we're going to put them in and then tap it a little so it can stick in there. We're going to sprinkle it. Yeah. It kind of looks like tutti frutti pizza. Yeah. So we have this heart shape um, cookie cutter. Uh, we took the heart shape because we love heart. Because we love heart. But you can take um, a different cookie cutter if you want. Yeah. So we're gonna cut the cookie. This is fun. A lot. So now we're gonna take a piece. Try not to break your cookie. Yeah, cookie. Gently pick it up because because it is very soft. We are so excited to bake them. But first, um, when we cut the cookies, we left a little space. So we're gonna fill them up with tutti frutti, but gently because they're very soft. We have put the cookies in the in a tray, and we're gonna bake them in preheated oven on 356 degrees degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius. 
the cookies are ready. They, they smell delicious too. Mm. Yeah, they do. So mm. now the cookies aren't soft, so we can hold them. So we took the cookies out of the oven and let them set. Now they're ready to eat. They're really good. Awesome! Our cookies are done, but now we're gonna add a little twist to it. And make them more beautiful. We're gonna, we're gonna take this cookie on the, and, on the, and on the back side of it, we're gonna take melted chocolate and put a thin layer on it. So I spread it like this, a thin layer. This will dry out in a few minutes. I really, I can't wait to bite into this. I'm so excited to try these with chocolate on them. But let this dry for some minutes and then I'll try. They look very, very good. If, if you like the video, click the like button and subscribe to my auntie's channel.